Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Saturday Knife Live. Big red edition. See if this uh, works on your guys' end there. Welcome back to Saturday Knife Live. I'm your guest host, Zach. We are here representing today our good friend, Big Red, who is traveling, being with his family. Big Red, if you're out there, much love. What's up, Mark? C. Lemansky, Therapeutic Edge. What is up? Stud fishing. What's happening? Yeah, hello everyone. Jesse B's in the house. Saw Nicholas in here earlier. Give a shout out to uh, Bony Blades, Deadpool Lee, Nicholas Salave, Jesse Lopez, Joseph. Joseph couldn't stay. It's getting late where he was. It's all good. Scott's here. Manny's here. What's up, Slicey Dicey's here? Oddsy. Hey, what's up, stud? Man, what have you guys been up to this weekend? Been hot everywhere in the U.S., huh? Parker's here. Kai Kai's here. Big Boar. Scott, what's up? CK is here. Mikey's here. Yeah, the original posters. Nafs. Nafs.com. Knafs.com. Or .co. Lorenzo's here. Grom's here. Yeah, those are nice. They have it on Amazon and their website there. What's up, Peter? Welcome, welcome. Buying Pena knives. Ooh, hoo, hoo. very nice. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Looks like we have a lot of room up here, so I'm just going to move this up so we can put some even more knives up here. So we've got a few to talk about tonight. We'll put one of them up there right now. Yeah, Slicey Man, doing the recovery thing. Still really tired, can't sleep. Man, I'm so sorry. Make sure you give Slicey Dicey some love there. Even maybe tell him a funny joke in the comments here. The live chat. What's up, Tim? Tim Cook's here. Apple's good. Apple's good. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, so we're going to talk about a few things tonight. We're going to go over some of the knives that are on the table here. Uh, yeah, about a month or so, Slicey. That's wild. Uh, it's one of those things, you know. We're going to uh, talk about some of the knives on the table. Uh, Big Red sent some stuff down for a giveaway. What's up, Hilltop? Hilltop Knives and Gears here. Knife Dudes here. What's up? Oh, you like the old one better than the new one? Well, okay. Well, that's cool. It's all good there. It's all good. Mikey, it's 1 a.m. there, huh? That's wild. Well, I appreciate you joining. I know Big Red will appreciate you joining. Um, what's up, Jason? You know, Big Red's on his trip right now, so I was happy to guest host. He even sent some, uh, some stuff down for you guys for a little giveaway. Oh, you're doing physics too. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, the new Hunt series. I got the Hunt series here. Uh, there's six total. Five are being released on Monday. And the sixth one is going to be released on in, or in September from the looks of it on the website. So got a little love from, not sure if you guys follow him on Instagram, but got to give a shout out to my guy, Blade Brigade New York. Give him a shout out. There's his Instagram right there on the bottom. Cool dude. Lots of cool pictures, especially from New York area. And lots of nice knife pictures as well. 
What's up, Rick? Welcome, welcome. Therapeutic Edge, throwing down some of those emojis. Yeah, if you guys want to be a part of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can hit up the memberships. There's a join button right at the bottom of the screen next to the subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Justin's here, OCD for EDC. What's up? What's up, what's up? Yeah, the Patriotic Deca is amazing. Welcome, Scott. Yeah, so let's take a look at these. Uh, we'll just go in kind of an order there. What's up, Slicey? Slicey's throwing down some custom emojis that you get for being a member. Uh, and then that's also, if you see like Therapeutic Edge, Slicey Dicey, they're members of the ZDC crew. That's one of those things where you would be able to go and say, hey, you know what? I want to support this channel, Zach stuff, and it goes right back to you guys. So you get that little Z by your name, it'll change. Uh, the longer you've been a, been a member of the ZDC club, or ZDC crew, sorry, my bad. Still getting used to it. But yeah, um, and I know Slicey's got memberships up on his channel. Uh, we're going to talk also about a uh, knife that's just launched on Kickstarter from our friend David over at Orion Knives or Blade Banner. Pretty cool little button lock flipper thumb stud knife there. So go check it out. It's got some cool options for like $80 delivered. So that's pretty sweet here in the U.S. Good price for a good knife. What's up, Kyle? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we'll talk about these, and I know, you know, this is one that, uh, this is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive, and this is the Hogue Deca, and it's in 20 CV, it's got beautiful G10 layering, as you can see, it's got a nice stonewashed blade, Elisha Witt's design, of course, which most of those are. It's got the standard Hogue Deca clip on it. One day we'll get those liner locks, but it is a G10. Very beautiful layered. Very patri patriotic, yes. Very America. And there is that, that kind of milling to it, so you can kind of see the layers right there. But also on the top, the milling, so you get a little bit of grip out of it too. So all those lines coming through there are all the texture patterns. So pretty cool. I do have one thing, I was gonna send him a picture, but like right here on the blade, see if you guys can see it, like right here, there's a weird mark that goes across the blade. So I don't know, I've tried a few different things to try to get that mark off and it hasn't come off yet, so. I don't know, it's gonna be a user anyways, but it would be one of those things, so. Yeah, so they were, they're an exclusive with Smoky Mountain. I think the first overall um, run of them sold out. Yeah, they, and they included them with their general box, I think, for the month. So if you sign up for the the care packages that they do, whether it be the, uh, I think, what do they do? The enlisted, the officer, and the general or something like that. So three different levels. This one came with the top end one, which I think is like $200 a month for that box club. So it's a little spendy, but, you know, this this chance you got a $150 knife because I think they were like 140 or 145 yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah, I may I may have just got lucky. You know, that might be like a custom right there. Custom stone washing or something right through here. Right across there. But oh well. Yeah, the Deckers are kind of cool. Uh, we can compare them to one of the other Deckas. This is their uh, like blue lava G Mascus. Hogue Deca and kind of the Warren Cliffy blade. So you can see kind of similar patterns on here. What's up, Cauldron? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Big Red EDC's Saturday Knife Live. I'm your guest host, Zach. From Zach Stuff. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Scott's telling some funny jokes there. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah, the Warncliffe is nice. I like the Warncliffe one. And it actually, you know, the weird part about the the any of the drop point blades on the Deca is when it closes, it closes down really close to my palm and actually sometimes gets me right here. But yeah, Scott does have some jokes, so. But I've been learning to use it a little bit better so I don't get zapped in the the palm of the hand with it. 
Yeah, and I know some people, you know, you guys made some good comments on this picture today on Instagram. And it's just one of those things where somebody was like, hey, you know, I have a little bit bigger hand. It'd be nice to have a, a bigger version of this. And, I, you know, I think they would probably be working on that. They did really good working on the, like, mini and uh, full-size RSKs with uh, Doug Ritter and that stuff. So, what's up, G-Man? Yeah. Yep, totally. Yeah, man, they got to throw the like down there, eh? Throw a little like down. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at, we'll do one of these real quick because we've got a few to go through. Hopefully you guys have seen my video on this hunt series. Uh, I'm going to probably do some individual knife uh, comparisons on these. Uh, this one right here is going to be the Hidden Canyon Hunter. And it's uh, number 15017. Yeah, and, that, and that's the drop. I mean, you have the drop point versus the worn club. I like the worn club. It's kind of cool. It's got a different cool blade shape to it, too. So, yeah, so you got this really thick, heavy-duty leather holster. You got your belt loop there for it. Uh, Peter, that's so nice of you. So so nice. So these are these sheaths are really nice. You know they engineered these really well. Uh, U.S. U.S. made company that's doing the sheaths for them, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll take a peek at this one. Oh, you got one for your dad. Oh, that's cool. I could blade swap the decas. That'd be pretty sweet. I want to see what they say about that spotting though, real quick. But this is, you know, this is one of the smaller versions. Like I said, I have a large glove size hand. So it drops right in there. Nice. slicey has got that fixed blade too. Yeah, buddy. But I like the size of these for a smaller one. A loner with a different sheath. Well, that's kind of fun. So, yeah, that's the first one there that's out of the series. Yeah, it does say prototype on there, yeah. Oh, Chad sent it. Nice. Yeah, oh, I'm sure the Smoky Mountain will say call call Hogue, which is fine. I'm call Hogue. Those guys are super, super cool down there. But, you know, and, and it might just be something the way it finished that way. So that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're going to show off this one. It's got a big old hook on it. This one is the Saddle Mountain Skinner. With the hook. Uh, number 15004. They told you to call Microtech? Yeah. Same kind of really thick leather holster. It's molded really well, so it doesn't come out super crazy. I wonder if you, if you got a different holster on that one, Slice. Yeah, is that a, like an aftermarket holster you guys got? Oh, Neves, what's up? Love you all. Good night. Is that like the uh, walk in and mic drop? Neves, thank you so much. That's awesome. What's up, Protective Training Consultants? Awesome. New member. Right on, right on. So, yeah, this one has the skinning hook on it. It's got a really cool shape to it. I really like how they move the jimping back. Um, one of the thing here on this one, you know, there was some concern, and I think, you know, it'll, it'll have to see is when you're really doing your gutting and skinning, is if stuff's going to get stuck in here, you know, because this one, this stuff sticks up a little bit. There's a little bit of a groove. Oh, nice, Kyle. Nice. And, you know, you have your, your uh, treated wood handles. Can't say diamond wood anymore because that company doesn't exist, but that was a copyrighted material. Yeah, so I think it'll be really good. Uh, it's a really thinner handle, more ergonomic friendly. Just a really good size. They uh, Yeah, it's so weird. They have knives that don't fold. <laughs> it's like, what is this? What is this knife thingy? Yeah, I'm sure you don't get too much uh, hunting going on up there in New York there. Now this one here is going to be the Saddle Mountain Skinner, the same version, 
But so it's gonna have the same holster just without the hook. So that's kind of cool. So you got this going on there. They did change the sheaths, and the sheaths are not interchangeable. So you're not able to swap them out. Like, you know, if you have a previous version of the Saddle Mountain Skinner and try to use it in one of the new sheaths, it's not going to be able to fit. Oh, you guys do hunt crazy up there? Okay. So I really like how this one's made up. This one would be good for a lot of things, especially camping, you know, so multi-purpose when you're out hunting. It's a really nice one. The size is good. Yeah, the other one's so cute and adorable, the other one. Um, you know, and the cool part is they moved the jimping down. So it used to be out here further, and so they've moved them down. So when you're actually gripping the knife like a regular person, it's right there where your finger's going to be. So they've made it a little long, longer in case you have longer or shorter fingers, but fits a lot of people, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll go over. These two are my favorite right here. I'm trying to figure out which one of these I'm going to get. What's up, Crystal? Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. On the other ones, so those are all going to be in the S30V. I thought I showed that. I'm sorry. Those are in the S30V. Those first three are. And the next two are going to actually be in S90V. Yeah, I know. It'd be kind of cool if they were like, hey, we're going to, we're going to, sell the whole line as a package that would be awesome they'd be like you know so much per knife or you can buy the package and it's you know 150 dollars off or something now this is the hidden canyon hunter but it's the 15017-1 and it's got the rich light and g10 handles and i kind of dig the handles so you guys let me know what you think on these these are the s90 v steel lanyard hole lanyard fans which on this one you probably need one but it's it's beautiful it's contoured very nice yeah the orange is good you know it's got the thumb jimping automatically built in right there and if you want to rotate it and do some of your closer cuts it's the jimping's right there for your fingers so uh and chad says any clips or attachments for s90b no there's none in here the only thing we had on this was the uh sheath much slimmer design and that was one of the things that you know some people said you know well i'd like an all black one like an all orange one but i guess you could just flip it over either way and one of the other thing comments was a thinner but it's a pretty thin belt the belt loops Yeah, it does pop. But they snap in tight. So it's pretty cool. And that's the smaller version. Now the bigger version, the Saddle Mountain Skinner version, the 15002-1 is right here. Yeah, it would be cool, I think definitely. Yeah, definitely if they included those loops or some of the locks. So the which one? Uh, I'm sorry, Scott. Are you talking about the uh, the Hidden Canyon Hunter, the smaller one with the dash one, the same handles as these? That price ranges from 195 to 230 right now online. And then this one right here ranges online from 213 to 250. Yeah, the smaller one. So that's the price on the two of those. Uh, the pocket carry on that one. Let me go over the stats on that one. So the smaller one, this is the Hidden Canyon Hunter. The 15017-1. It has a 2.79 inch blade. So under three inches. Overall, it's only 6.4 inches long. And it weighs 3.1 ounces. Yeah, totally. You could you could make your own with paracord, all sorts of stuff. 
Your Pearson Custom was about the same? Yeah. And Ryan at Pearson Custom does some amazing work. So, yeah, that's good stuff there. Some beautiful knives that he makes. So, let's see. Let's look at some of the Damn Designs knives. You guys might have seen these that came in. This one's the uh, Jin, which is spelled D-J-I-N-N. -N. That's an S35. Or, oh, I'm sorry, this one's in D2. The other one's S35, my bad. I have a couple of them that came in. The, the Onis came in, and those had the S35. Oh, all about Bark River. Nice, okay. So these are a cool little knife. I like the drop point on these. On the gins, little front flipper, pretty stout, but deep pocket carry. Yeah, they are small. They have them on their website, so you can get them pre-ordered and stuff. This is the carbon fiber. This is the Oni, O-N-I. It's S35VN. More of a milled pocket clip on this one instead of the deep carry, but... Oh, nice. That's cool, Mad Hatter. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so these are all rolling out. Uh, the extra ones are being put on the website in the next week or two. So it's pretty cool. There you go. Peter's going to hook you up. I mainly have been carrying these in my bag for small cuts, so that's been good. Oh, yeah, the blue Benchmade knife bags. So these are a new thing that's coming out um, with their Life Sharp warranty. So if you send a knife in the mail right now, which they're only taking knives via mail, um, if you send this... If you're sending your knife in for Life Sharp warranty, they repair it and send it back with one of these bags. Now, if you send it in the box to them, like the original Benchmade box, if you send it in the box, you will not get the box back. So, you know, I just wrap mine up in bubble wrap, send them in a nice, you know, priority mailbox with the form, send it in, done. Oh, nice. Right on, Scott. I appreciate that. But I just got one of these out of the Life Sharp warranty, and that's the Autocrat. Got this one going. G10. It's got the spine fire, anodized aluminum. You got some anodized titanium, or not titanium. Let me start over. Anodized hardware on this one. Yeah, Dane, have fun at the beach. I appreciate you dropping in. Uh, usually it's just a surprise when they return it. You know, right now it's not too bad. You know, I mean, by the time they receive it, uh, the problem is, is they are um, going through sanitation processes. So... That's why they're not accepting anything. They have, they normally would accept walk-ins as well, where you could walk in a knife that needs repair or sharpening. They would do um, touch-up sharpenings while you wait. they only take like five, 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. That stuff's all closed right now. So you can still order knives and pick them up, kind of like you do right now with takeout. You know, you sit in your car, you call in, they bring the stuff out to you. That's kind of how Benchmade's doing their walk-up service now. So their store's closed. Um, still have employees there, but they're trying to limit the exposure to the employees. And obviously people are going to come in and want to touch a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, just send your knives in. And basically right now, all the knives are getting sent in are all getting sanitized, broken down, cleaned, everything. So no safety on this one. And then Scott, you had asked, um, uh, if I like the spine fire over like an infidel and I, I do, I really like it, you know, cause it's ready to use right after you push it. I don't have to rotate the knife. You know, with the Infidel, the Infidel is more of like a defense tool for me, I think, whereas I would use this one more on the daily daily, you know, because uh, the Infidel, you know, you push it out here and it's kind of got that, 
you're ready to go to business and do some self-defense. Here, I feel this is more of a, you know, you're just here, you got your normal grip, you want to cut something, you know, pull cut, whatever, um, or go through a bag, you can do that. So I like this spine fire. But this, this one, what's up, OSK? This one actually had um, pre-production parts in it, and they had done some re-engineering. And then, uh, I don't know if you saw OCD for EDC. Um, as soon as you got it on camera, um, it started having some misfires. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, natural fitment on the spine fire. Yeah, I like that. So, S30V kind of have that, you know, really cool finish to it. Not a lot of billboarding on this one. Yeah, pre-self-defense, yeah. So it's kind of cool because they went ahead and, and put all the re-engineered parts in here. Um, you know, it was sent to us knowing that. So, but it was cool to get it back and see it back into, back into action. What's up, Menace with a knife? What's going down? So it's kind of cool and, you know, kind of cool they send the blue bags out as well. So... It's kind of a little bonus, uh, you know, to incentivize you guys. Oh, nice. You just got done with your shift. Well, welcome. Yeah, we're doing good, you know. Hosting Big Red's uh, Saturday Night Live tonight. Trying to keep up with, you know, his regular action that he has. It's action-packed nights. Oh, really? You just eventually sell them? Yeah, I don't keep too many myself, but Hollywood Tacticals here, right on, right on. Uh-oh, got the call from the girlfriend. Yeah, Knife Dude, you can try to drop your link in there. Um, I'll see if I can approve it. Sometimes it just automatically blocks those, so it's just a YouTube thing. But uh, myself or Peter can do it. If it pops up. I know it did that on one of your comments and I had to approve it first. Jason, did I get your email? Refresh my memory about that because I might there might be something special I want to tell everybody, including you. But I can't remember what your email said. There's some special things going on. You know, Big Cheese, uh, they will do that at a certain point, uh, as long as they still have stock in them. They do make extras for repair, replacements, those kind of things, and eventually they do wear out, so, or not wear out, but they run out of, of those items, and then they won't be able to replace them anymore. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome. Yeah, knives right on display. What's up, Ace Tone, Acetone? Yeah, the, also this right here has that Timascus backspacer, which is just gorgeous from Rock Scale Design. There you go. You can get a really good look at the layering on that right there. Dang, you had two dozen. That's crazy. Deadpool, what's up, man? But yeah, this this Timascus backspacer is just awesome. And, of course, it just, you know, you guys probably saw the video, but it had to go on the gold class bug out. So, this is my user. So, I'm using this one. Oh, the clip. Okay, so, I'll tell you the clip on this one is actually a pattern matching the blade. And it's just laser marked. So, it's one of the standard clips, the tie clips. And it's just laser marked, so... Yeah, Big Red is on a, a mission right now, visiting some family and his mother. So I'm happy to guest host tonight, and he sent down some goodies for you guys. So we'll be throwing that up here in a little bit at the top of the hour. Yeah, it's my user gold class, Mikey. I had to do it because it's, it's an amazing knife. Amazing, amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen. Let me see if I can find. Dang, where'd that flashlight go? Now I'm going to have to look for it. I have my little UV flashlight. Yeah, I was hoping to see some pictures of like some big fish today, but I think he's visiting with his mom, so. 
Yeah, Max, I, I'm not able to share with you which knife it is. Even though people have been dropping some hints all over the place. Yeah, I'm glad to keep things going. So this is a UV light. We'll do a little bit, but they have some glow in the dark material mixed in the scales, the marble or the shredded carbon fiber here, and the C-Tech all has glow in the dark material in it. So you can see, let's bring it back here. It's hard with the overhead lights on, sorry. But you can see the glow in the dark material light up. It's through all the layering, all the carbon fiber, all through the C-Tech handles, and it stays that way. So you guys will be happy as soon as you see the new new one hit the custom knife shop, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple months, I think. You know, I don't think we'll see it till I don't know, September, October, something like that. What's up, JD? JD Shadows here. Welcome, welcome. Another member of the ZDC crew. Yeah, so that's good. So let's see what we got here. We got a box here from Blade Banter. Let me see what he sent me here. It's a heavy one, too. Get my uh, channel unboxing knife. The Tengu Tool, the 602. Super fast deployment on that one. Super crazy sharp, though. Yeah, definitely, huh? What in the heck? Oh, there's stuff dropping out of the box. What did we get on this one? It's like a bunch of parts. Oh, you know what this one is? Oh, Big Boar, man. Welcome. Hey, hey, let's give a shout out to Big Boar. Knife and Gear just became a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, man, so much. That support's awesome. Put that up there. Yeah, that's so cool, you guys. And, you know, like, uh, if you guys saw, you know, the, those of you who are members, you guys uh, had early access to um, a video here this last week. So hopefully you guys liked it, had got some good feedback. I think these are the niche ones. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. I think these are the, is it niche knives? Let me see here. It's got a lot of fingerprints on it. Hold on. Look at that thing. What's up, Carlos? Carlos is here. Welcome, welcome. That big mamma jamma. Max Bravo's here. Wipe these off, man. These are all dirty. Yeah, I think these are the ones that didn't get uh, funded in Kickstarter, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Max, that's the Hoog Deca exclusive through Smoky Mountain. Yeah, I think these, I don't know, are these the same? Oh, this one's a little bit different, just slightly. Yeah, I think Neves did a video on them. I was in the same pass around group with them, but uh, I don't think these got funded. But they're pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet knife right here. I mean, pretty chunky. Yeah, my large glove size hand, but do some cutting. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I thought I, I just got a note from them that said they were they were gonna be showing up. So David must have been the one prior to me sending them to me. Yeah, meat cleaver esque. I mean, probably. Yeah, middle finger flicker. Hey, big red would be proud. <laughs> we got one out on Saturday Night Live. 
Yeah, so I don't know. I gotta talk to him and find out. I still want to do a review on those uh, and just go over them, and you know they're gonna give me some info on how they're gonna move forward. So, you know, Peter, I'm not sure. I would say you would contact them directly. Um, Ninja Designs, just because of the fact that you know they're the ones that own these prototypes. They're there the knives, so they were gracious enough to send them out to the the pass around group. So we could check them out, and uh, yeah. So yeah, well, the the I would you know Cauldron. My thing is doing a, a review on the knives in regards to what's going to be the future of them and for the company. So not really for a knife that doesn't exist, but you know your prototypes. So. Similar to, you know, the review I did on the Solaris from Orion Knives. It's on Kickstarter. But if you go to orionknives.com, you can get signed up for that Kickstarter. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's over like 30-some percent funded in the first day. So, you know, if you're looking for a, a pretty sweet, you know, push-button flipper and thumb stud knife. And he's got different styles. You can get a satin blade, stone wash blade or red accents or blue accents and then there's some stretch goals that he's kicking around right now of like maybe micarta or carbon fiber so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool uh us only is that what it is i would say i would say get a hold of blade banner through his uh channel or through orion knives because he does a lot of international shipping, and he mentioned international shipping on his Kickstarter video that he did. Yeah, Rick, that would be awesome. I had to get him to do one. I know Peter was hoping, too, to do one for buying multiple knives. Because at the very beginning, we couldn't we couldn't buy, like, one of each. So he just added that yesterday evening, so... Oh, that's cool, Justin. I see your comment up there. Thank you very much. OCD Freedy said he said he talked to Nick, the owner of Niche, and he's making a few minor changes to the design. He's going to be trying it again. So that's cool. Yeah, he said once I get him to to get a hold of him, and he was going to go over everything with me. So yeah, so I think it's kind of cool. Oh, cool. You got him on the wait list. Right on. That's fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. Women Carry Knives help you out with that one. Right on. That's good stuff. So the layering on the Deca is pretty nice. Um, you know, it is rough because it's G10, but it's not, um, you know, pointy, I guess, rough, if that makes sense. These are basically lines cut in, but the actual points that you see there, are not, um, you know, it's very standoffish so that you don't get those like fine nastiness that you do on some of that texture G10. So, hey, Peter, all right, have a good night. But it's pretty cool. When is Benchmade adding the bug out to the custom shop? I know you know when, Zach. You're on the inside. Tell us. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if I could tell you it's the bug out or 940 or, you know, infidel or any of that stuff. But yeah, it's going to be a couple months from now. I think they're just, you know, ramping up production on other stuff as well as the parts they need because no matter what hits the custom shop, people are going to buy them like crazy. You know, yeah, it could be all three. I mean, it's the 20 year anniversary. Of the 940, so you never know. Never know what they drop. And if you see the <laughs> people guessing now, that's great. Now, you guys may uh, see sooner than later a custom build by our friend Nick um, Shabazz who unleashed one of these. So this is a knife that I built 
with Benchmade through, through their custom knife builder, you could say. Nice. And this is a full-size barrage, which is an auto assist. If you're a Patreon member for Nick, then you probably saw a video on this. Um, it'll be coming out to everybody here soon, but he got his custom built one and it's pretty sweet. So this is similar to what you could build right now. I put no laser graphics on it. This is a serrated version. The blue is very bright, which I like. It's kind of that bench made blue, which I like. And then of course, yes, go Seahawks. Heck yeah. Go Hawks. If you follow the Seahawks, you saw who they just picked up this week. Yeah, basically, Cauldron, you're looking at, you know, uh, a pretty cool Z Hunter barrage. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty cool one that he got and he's been using. So anyways, when that comes out, definitely go check out his video on it because it's pretty cool. But this is the kind of stuff that you can build in there and just have fun with it. You know, they have different colors like red and blacks and all of drab and other stuff like that. Hey, Big Red made it. What's up, Big Red? Big Red's in the house. Give him a little love. Big Red EDC's here for his own Saturday Night Live. I was telling everybody that old Big Red sent down a little package of goodies for him. So they're all excited about that, ready to go. We're talking about the new Smoky Mountain Deca, which I know Big Red carried him with, or carried his with him to Nebraska. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, the blue and green's gorgeous on that, so I like how fluorescent that is, so. Oh, he was generous to share his live with us this week. I'm just happy to see that he made it. It was so cool to follow his Instagram, see his stuff. I'm hoping you got some fishing in. Maybe you can give us a little family update and a little fishing update. We went over the hunt knives, the new hunt knives from Benchmade. Oh, really? You don't like the popsicle-esque of it? I think it's pretty cool. But I like popsicles too, so <laughs> maybe that's why. I don't know. Your mom is really well. That's excellent. Right on. That's really good to hear. Yeah, it's the Hogue Deca. It's an exclusive Smoky Mountain and 20 CV with uh, red, white, and blue scales. And I can see that becoming a you know a, a thing, you know, kind of like the bug out, the 940. Um, you can see the Hogue Deca being, you know, you could go with the red version and it could go to who does the red? Oh, St. Nick's. Those kind of things. So I can see things like that going. Do an all blue one. Not the G G mask is lava like this, but Yeah, that's great news. That's JB, that's great news, man. Hey, what's up, Tim? Welcome from Australia. Right on, right on. Yeah, I like the blue lava. I have them in both of them. You know, I picked up the both versions. You know, I got the Warren Cliffy. And I got the Drop Point. You know, they're both good. Which this one actually is more blue than this one. This one has more of a shaded tint to it. The Drop Point, so... Yeah, wild stuff there. <laughs> July 5th. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. It's pretty good. A little sweating down there in Nebraska today. 
Yeah, so the only thing I've seen recently is, um, so I got this one right here, which is actually a, a clip off MXG gear for a Spyderco. So I put that one on there. I've also been told um, by, I think it was Justin, OCD for EDC, and Slicey that the Civivi deep carry clips fit on there as well. So that's what I that's what I end up using, and I'll probably get another one of those. I might try a Civivi one, but you can see the difference where what where it's going to carry between the two of them. So solid half inch sticking out versus you know all of it in your pocket. So I like I like the deep carry clips. I mean that's just a personal thing for me, but you know I. I'm really hoping they bring one out. That'd be kind of cool because I'd probably buy a couple. No, oh, stage intervention. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, that's good stuff. I think this one was for the 0450. The ZT. Yeah, so I, I have a video actually I've put together and it's for the uh, the new ZTs that came out and it was from my uh, time at SHOT Show. Um, so I'll be posting that up here in the next week. I was really waiting for, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you somebody takes the 940 collection, that's the bonus. But I was really waiting for them to come out because, you know, it's SOGS. They didn't have the, you know, we're all, you know, we like the SOG Terminus XR. Um, but we're kind of waiting for the other ones to drop that we saw at SHOT Show. So they've now started dropping some of them. So you'll see a little video on there. And then we have a couple that are coming around. So we'll get those reviewed. So you guys can see what they're like. Um, you know, a lot of people like that new uh, access style mechanism. You know, similar to what is on the uh, Terminus XR, so it's been pretty good. Okay, perfect, Justin. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of ZT Kershaw clips that'll work on the Deca. So I might go check them out. I ha do have a couple of Civivis laying around, so. Oh, you tried them out, Peter. Nice. Okay, the Seal Kiku Terminus and Flash AT are amazing. Yeah, I, I tried the Flash AT. Uh, Terminus is good, of course. Um, and the Seal, I don't know if that one was on the video, but... Oh, you own all four. Awesome. That's cool. All you need to know is it's not, uh, not Benchmade. Oh, Spyderco, ZT, yeah, it's all good. Oh, you did one? Yeah, I, I did my SOG Terminus XR review like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or more when I got it at uh, Blade Show West, the first one. And it was one of the original ones. I think it was in D2, carbon fiber one. Um, and it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, I didn't like the clip. I'm still not a fan of the pocket clip, but. Yeah, hey, man, I got some other knives and than uh, just Benchmade, but you know, I would say the majority percentage is Benchmade. It's all beat up, huh? <laughs> Your SOG, you put it to work. That's good, you gotta use your stuff. I like that. Don't end up like me. Oh, come on now. That's so sad. Hey, I've been expanding. You guys should be very happy with me this last year. Yeah, exactly, Justin. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know what it is, you know. That I mean the lock's okay, but the uh I, I think it's just the the actual mechanism itself. But that clip, man, it's like ah somebody signed off on that, but I'm just not a fan. Yeah, it the lock bar is flimsy, definitely. 
Is there a clip that replaces the SOG? I haven't found one yet because it's actually um, in the handle, if that makes sense. So instead of the clip being on the outside, like up here and screwed on, it actually comes down and screws in side the blade itself. Or not the blade, but the handles. Hey, Donkey Dave's here. What's up, Donkey Dave? Hey, Talbert's here. Welcome, Talbert. Everybody's joining in, joining in. That's awesome. And we got this one. Let's see here. I can open this up really quick. But it's a... Uh... I know you guys will probably be like, why is it not open yet? But we did a little support our good friend Doug Ritter and his group at Knife Rights. And they sent out the Crimson G10 one. It's probably been a month or two ago. But that way I can show you the clip on it. Oh, you Mikey say we petitioned for a live stream full Benchmade collection. Man, you're gonna have to. You guys are gonna have to petition a lot for that because it's gonna take like two hours to get all the knives set up <laughs> and two hours to put it away. So this is your Sog Terminus XR. I do really like the Red G10. I really like that. Uh, and this is where the clip goes. So it's a loop over, and it's screwed into the top of between the scale and the liner like where that backspacer goes. So the backspacer goes up and it's like right in between there. But yeah, I, I think, you know, a live stream for a Benchmade collection would be kind of fun. But it would definitely have to be a different day. So that's pretty cool. Oh, they did drop the, the huge SOG billboarding. Yeah, I saw that, which is good. But still, I'm like, come on, man. I mean, I know it fits, it's fine, but it's like, I don't know. Uh, Calder says, so you could put it in the closer hole and have more clip room for the thicker material. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could. You just unscrew that there. You would unscrew this this screw there and move it to the other side. But you'd have to find a way to screw it down there, I guess. So maybe get it through the hole and screw it in. All right, that's cool, Mikey. Yeah, I'm down. If you guys are down, we should plan something. It's going to be a big, crazy live stream, but yeah, a collection live stream of my Benchmade. Woo. I mean, you have to, you have to remember, I mean, we're probably pushing 300 plus Benchmade, so I'm going to have to take some notes because there's some older ones. I'm going to be like, what number is that one? But I know the name. Hey, thanks, Big Red, for posting that on there about knife rights. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, get stuck in the pocket, yeah. Yep, that'd be cool. I'm down I'm down for it, though. We should definitely figure out a day and time to do it in the next uh, month or so. Get it planned out. Then I can start planning on my other stuff. Yeah, we'll do it in categories for sure, you know, we'll do the 940s. And that's how I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking about doing an upgrade like a collection thing for you know, Benchmade and putting it on putting it online and then doing one for Spyderco cuz I got probably like 10, 12 Spydercos now and you know, I've got Hogue knives, I probably got half a dozen of those or more and you know, just really get into other manufacturers, uh Damn Designs, I got half a dozen of those now. Uh so <laughs> Game of Thrones throne. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That would be cool. 
Yeah, hey, Aaron, we'll show the whole thing in one big live stream. Now <laughs> your daughter. <laughs> Deadpool says his daughter seen me in Blade HQ and said you don't have enough knives. No. Yeah, I do it by color. That'd be fun. So how do I store them was what Big Cheese said. So the majority of the ones that are of higher value, uh, no matter who the manufacturer is, those are all in a safe. I have a big safe. I have them all locked up there. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, Peter. Uh, and then the other ones, um, I'm storing them all in the box and I'm storing them in like security cabinet. Uh, so I have them in there. And then I have some um, more budget friendly knives and I have those just stored um, you know, on a shelf. So I do have a, a case of knives that I have, um, ones that don't have boxes, things like that. Because I keep all the original boxes of the knives just because... You never know if all of a sudden you just got to get rid of some. So, yeah, I'll need to get a big camera and I'll probably have to invite people over like Lorenzo or Big Red or TK or people like that and be like, hey, you're going to have to do a little road trip and come help me out. So, yeah, my insurance guy loves me. My insurance agent is like in love with uh, my premiums and hey, let's reevaluate your uh, your collection and charge me appropriately. Like, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, heck yeah, I'll be there in August. I love it. Hey, hey Nicholas, what's happening? Bull blueberries with milk. Crushed up biscuit with sugar. Oh, man, that sounds so good. So refreshing. Oh, you're looking for new scales for your 970? Wow. Yeah, you might have to get a hold of somebody like that. CK's in. That's good. Yeah, I got an Apache case, and I also have some some other cases. For, I got, like, the Pelican one from Now Pack that had some custom inserts, so it's kind of got the blue... Uh, layered foam, so it looks kind of cool. But kind of the same blue that's on these, so it's pretty sweet. I'm hoping for the, you know, kind of waiting for the next, uh, like, custom release cases, like Benchmade, things like that. But let's rotate a couple of these knives out, and then we'll look at doing a giveaway here shortly. Put away a couple of these. You guys have any questions and actually let's do a little uh pocket check what everybody's carrying you guys saw what i was carrying today this beauty right here but we'll see what you guys are carrying and then we'll put a couple other knives out here man x2 xl kershaw dividend malibu warney Nothing right now. Oh, Vanguard earlier. Okay. 10 VPM2. Nice. 940 and Leatherman. Yeah, so Norvin, I, I will be probably getting that new Infidel. I clarified some information on it today. Oh, yeah, I got your Gold Class Bug Out. Heck yeah. Woohoo. Love it. And uh, the cool part about it. Oh, you had the Kershaw Husker today. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah, Justin got his first Russian in the new DECA. Yeah, that's cool, man. I got to go back and watch that video. I was at work today, so it's kind of a bummer. Couldn't watch any videos at work. The cell reception sucks, and there's no Wi-Fi. And then uh, they obviously don't let us use the uh, work computers for that. In the pockets, the S45VN PM2. Very nice, Peter. Benchmade Arcane, Mini RSK, and a PM2. That's a good combo. Rat2 and Aus. Nice. Gonzo, there you go. Currently knifeless, Bruce. Oh man, we gotta get Bruce a knife there, huh? The Civivian Thropos, not sure how I feel about this one. Blackout Adamas, that's a sweet, solid knife. The Backlash, the Mini Bug Out. What's up, Rodney? Welcome. I must have missed you coming in, man. Welcome. Rodney's another member. CK is another member. Big Board joined today. 
Chad's a member, Slicey's a member, all of Zach's Daily Carry crew. Thank you guys so much. Best Tech Texel today. The Barrage on now. Sitting on the couch. There's a new Presidio. That's sweet. Real Steel Sidus. What time do I stream on Sunday? Usually, Rick, I would try to stream in the mornings uh, or around the middle of the day um, I, or early afternoon like last week because of, um, you know, I don't want to interfere with Slicey Dicey's stream or with Justin's stream because, you know, those, those are my guys right there. So I try to just be mindful of everybody else's stream that's going on and not jump into their time zone or time frame. So, oh, Therapeutic Edge. Got to run, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your support, man. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Got your Anthropos. Nice. Tenacious Lightweight. Glow in the Dark Scales. Heck yeah. Holy cow. What are you carrying over there? Artisan Small Coop. Or Copper Archaeo. Elk Ridge Slip Joint. Blade HQ, Birdshot, Sack, Olite, I3 EOS, SR2 Baton, 2, Rear Nets, Larger KO, nice. 9400. Oh, it came in right on. Yeah, Nicholas, nice. Yeah, I got those custom emojis. We're going to be adding a few more this week, so that's cool. Bunzo, what's up? Carried your ZT0562 tie, the GEC44. Oh, he found a fixed blade right on. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to put a couple more knives out, too, here. Now, you guys liked this one when it was up on the Instagram. And this is basically a Benchmade 5.5. Five, I'm going to get it wrong. Nope, it's not 5.5. Five. It's 5.50. Five, it's a sheep's foot. So the custom emoji should be on the keyboard there. And I don't know if it's on mobile or not, or if it's just on laptop. But it has the carbon fiber flitanium scales. Nice, got the Z, yeah. But it's got the sheep's foot. It's got the original hollow grind, the 154 cm. So carries like a dream. I put the you know polished deep carry clip on it. Just matches beautifully. That is one of my favorites that I built. Oh, that's what started your addiction? Yeah, man, I'll tell you. But just the people that are making scales out there are just amazing. There you go. Nice. And this is the stuff that you guys, you know, really love and I love as well. You know, this is G10 and Micarta scales from Death Grips on Instagram. Spiral pattern, milling, beautiful stuff. It's on the, yeah, it's got the lighter barrel spacers. So they're not the all black ones. So this is on the, uh, the CF Elite um, chassis, I guess you could say. Liners and blade and barrel spacers. Oh, thanks, Big Red, for putting that up there. Yeah. Yeah, the carbon fiber looks amazing. And I think, you know, if you look at it compared to, you know, I don't know if there's any other Benchmade carbon fiber I have out here that's comparable, but, you know, the people that are out there making scales, I mean, here's the comparison right here between the two G10s. And I don't know if I could show you two of them. Uh, you can probably see in size. But the one right here on the right... And the one on the left, the one on the left is the stock bench made, and the one on the right is the Rogue Blade Works. It's the Mini Freak and the Full Size Freak. You know, just a little bit different, but they just do amazing work. Yeah, you can get that for the Mini Chad, I think. I think he started doing the Mini. I know he's working on it. Um, I'd have to confirm, but I know. So I have some scales coming in. I thought they were going to be in this weekend, but I guess they'll be in next week, I think, 
from uh, Rogue Blade Works. They're sending me some sweet uh, carbon fiber and uh, another set. I'm hoping for three sets total, but I think I'm only going to get two right now, which would be pretty awesome from them. Oh, you got a bug out? REI? Oh, that's a really good deal. Heck yeah. Yeah, I think originally these were 750 These uh, gold class bug outs were 750 so. Yeah, Deadpool. 940 Natural G10, that'd be awesome. That'd be sweet. I've seen a couple of the P those been made, yeah. Oh, the Red Infused. Did I miss your other comment, Rodney? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's worth seven fifty totally all day, every day. All day, every day. I don't think I grabbed the red resin infused ones, but yeah, I know what you're talking about on that. That carbon fiber is, is just nice that they made with that. Where did you get the clip on the bug out? Oh, this one here, the this is a laser marking on that one. It matches the exact blade pattern of the Damasteel Steel blade. So, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, the red and carbon fiber Southern Grind. Yeah, that's so awesome. So I have this one, and I have a couple of the other. I have like the regular carbon fiber, but I missed the red one. That red's pretty sweet, though, but that's another carbon fiber G10 one they made. I put a bug out clip on this one. Works pretty darn well. CPM M4, it's number 12. This is, I think, with the Blade HQ exclusive that they did. Pretty sweet. Oh, you got a sweet bug out this week? Oh, showing it off on the live. Right on, man. Right on. I'm excited. I want to see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, all right, Deadpool, you out of here? Right on, stud fishing. Well, let's go ahead and move some of these. We'll go ahead and put some of these away. Oh, yeah, the one you talked to me about. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, you guys don't want to miss that one. Definitely don't want to miss that one. It, he's got a really good one. Really good bug out to talk about. Show off. Oh, you got the REI green exclusive? Yeah, that one's a hot one. That is a hot one. We have, let's see here. We have a box from our buddy, Big Red EDC. This is his show, Saturday Night Live. He was gracious enough to let me guest host tonight. So thank you, my friend. That is pretty awesome. Let's open this one up. Let's see what we got for you guys tonight. Was this like a blow up raft or something in here? Or? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course, you guys know Big Red. He does not disappoint. And so we got Big Red's. We got a swag pack. So we got stickers. We got all sorts of fun stuff in there. Let's see here. Open it up again. Yeah, the big red EDC raft. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm learning to cut with this blade, so I don't want to do it in front of camera really quick because I'd probably get myself. The Tango tool is pretty nice. Holy cow, you guys. Big red hooked you guys up. Now, I'm going to throw in a couple things of my own. You're going to get some Zach Stuff swag. You're going to get a couple other little things that I have here. But let's go over this. So we have an awesome thing here. Yeah, so we talked about it earlier, Talbert. Oh, Big Red, thanks, man. That's so nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Man, that's my guy right there. He's so nice. Shadowborn Hanks has these new little utility pocket tools. 
or tool holders. So it's got stuff in the top. So let's see here. You can put a pin in here. You can put a knife in here. Well, let's put one that's not closed or that is closed. You can put a knife in here. You can put other things in the front, money, credit cards, whatever. Shadowborn Hanks, nice little utility pouch. Almost something that you you know could go in your front pocket if you wanted to, go in your back pocket, whatever. So we got one of those. So that's going to be in there. That's awesome. Big Red's throwing that in. We got another little digital camo pouch here. No, that wasn't a zebra pen. That was a tactile turn side click pen. Sorry about that. I should have said what I was putting in there. And we got a little pouch here, digital camo, holds all sorts of fun things, like maybe your new KPL that you are gonna win with it. You got heavy and regular. Those will fit right inside. So all sorts of cool stuff, so you can see what goes into that. The pouches are great. I have pouches, oh my gosh, they're so helpful. So a couple bottles of KPL, that's pretty awesome there. Got that digital pouch right there. And then what do we have here? We have a Marbles D2 MR434. Yeah, some 38 special ammo. So let's take a look at that. Oh, this is one. Of, yeah, I saw that. Look at that. Uh, only one winner tonight, Mark. But I will say this. If you see me do a live tomorrow, there might be there might be some stuff going on that you want to pay attention to. So you got two blades on this one. Really strong lockup, which is kind of cool. As long as it doesn't come back and get me on camera, because that'd be kind of wild. But yeah, Marbles D2. Like it. That's pretty awesome, man. Very nice traditional knife. So those will be what you'll be getting. I guess we'll just leave that out right there. We'll put this off to the side. Let's get our handy dandy piece of paper and our handy dandy pen. And we're gonna be playing the official number game. And the number is basically gonna be between, ooh, let's say 300 and 500. But you're not gonna start yet. And you're only gonna get, I guess it wouldn't help if I wrote it on camera, huh? Everybody else is like, yeah, that'd be great. So it's going to be one number between 300 and 500. Don't guess yet. And it's one of those where you're going to have one guess only. Oh, Grom, I didn't, yeah, I didn't get a list from you, buddy. So I didn't want to bring that up. Yeah, Grom, if you have your stuff that you want to give away, let me know. We can throw it all in one, or we can, if you want to do a second one, we could do uh, the two closest people to the number. Yeah, I didn't get it. That's so crazy. I'll have to check my junk, my junk mail. Sorry about that. You're terrible at math. Yeah, so Grom has some, some giveaway prizes as well. So that's pretty awesome. Sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't want to... I didn't want to front you out here if you were uh, not not going to uh, want to send anything out. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll look for that email when we're done. But okay, so Grom said we're going to do a second giveaway, and he's going to put a list up here. That's so awesome, man! Of Grom to donate that stuff, and he's going to send that out to the winner. Um, so we'll pick two winners. So the first one will be this package here that Big Red donated so kindly since he's on his travels and then the second package will be what grom is going to list here and that'll be for the second person that's closest so 
Or if we get two people that guess it on the dot, then that'll be it. Three types of people. Those who are good at math and those who aren't. <laughs> That's pretty good, Cauldron. All right, Grom. Look at that. Grom's awesome, man. Thank you. So a swag pack, set of four keychain knives with a wildlife theme and a SOG Trident Elite. Oh, sweet. Very nice. Note that it's all new, but I didn't get packaging when I received the SOG. That's pretty sweet stuff. That's pretty sweet stuff. Oh, you want to see this little thing that's hiding down here? This is from Death Grips on Instagram. It's pretty sweet. G10 Micarta spiral pattern. Built that one. It's pretty nice. So yeah, so these are the things you're going to be getting. Along with the Marbles D2, the little digital camo pouch, the new utility pouch that you can put all sorts of fun stuff in your pockets from Shadowborn Hanks and a swag pack. You'll be getting some Zach stuff swag as well. So we have two winners that we're going to select. As soon as you see big red type start on the screen, you will have one guess and one guess only. And you'll be picking one number between 300 and 500. So hopefully that makes sense. So pick one number between there. And that's your one guess, one guess only. Oh, plain jokes. That's pretty funny. We can't tell you the number yet until everybody's done guessing. And once everybody guesses, one guess per person, please. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. So the guesses have started. We have Triple EDC, B for Baron Mark, Jason, Chad, Acetone, Big Cheese, Knife Dude, Karina Bergen, Bruce, Nicholas Salave, Lorenzo, Cauldron, Stud Fishing, Hollywood, Rodney, Rich, or sorry, Rick, C. Lemansky, Hilltop Knives and Gear, Ryan O'Connell, Mikey, CK, Donkey Dave, Big Boar Knife and Gear, Juan Lopez, Dustin Gokin, Grom, Gino V, Aaron Mitchell, Adam, Jonathan Nathaniel, Bunzo, Nafalgo, Tim Cook, Odzi, Kai Kai, Ronan, Michael, DG Reed, OCD for EDC, Norvin, uh, Odzi. Oh, okay. I see you corrected your guess. Okay. Mark Herrera, Crystal. One guess, Crystal. We'll only guess one number, and the number has to be between 300 and 500. <laughs> Nicholas says, get that shipping box ready. Daddy's getting a new knife. 327 for fun. Nice. <laughs> All right. We will see how many people we get guessing here. We'll give it another minute or so. And then we will call off all guesses. Yes. Big Red's undercutting you a little bit. I saw that. <laughs> Nicholas was so awesome. He donated uh, awesome stuff for the giveaway last week. So thank you so much. That's really, really cool of you. And he was our founding member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. So thank you for kicking it off and being a foundation of support like all of you have been. And I'm getting my swag packs ready to go. Probably be another two to four weeks before the swag packs are fully ready to go out to all the members. So if you still want to get in on it, get signed up. You get exclusive uh, access to new videos, those things like that. Yeah, don't forget to smash the like button. That'd be great. And once Big Red gives it and says stop, then we will go look at answers. 
do it for the knives. Very nice. There's the big red stop signs. Right on, right on. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Cauldron. Yeah, swag packs and all. Yeah, I just it's a it's a thank you for supporting, you know, and being that those founding people are supporting the my memberships and the channel and and that literally goes right back to you guys. So I want to kick off the initial one from me and just say thank you and appreciate all the support. So let's take a look at this. Now the rules are if anybody gets it on the, right on the nose, they will get this first package here. If we have a second person that gets it on the nose, they will get the second package that Grom is sending out. Um, you'll contact me for both of them and we'll get that information and everything sent out to you. Um, one of the other things we're doing is if three people get it on the nose, then we'll have kind of a, a tiebreaker. So it was one number between 300 and 500. The number was 434. I did see one person get it on the nose. So I'm going to go back and check all the others and see if anybody else got it. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part, you know. It's like it's a 200 point range, so I saw Big Cheese got it right on the nose. So I see Big Cheese getting a winner winner number one. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, Big Cheese, just send me an email. Zach.edc at gmail.com. We'll get it out to you. And if you were the winner from last week, um, or I'm sorry, not last week, but from last Monday, um, from the live stream, from the custom giveaway, um, email me again because we're going to chat, but I don't see anyone else and I see Lorenzo at 435, but I'm going to let, I'm going to let big red call this one or actually I'm gonna let Grom call this decision because I didn't state it at the beginning. Are we taking uh, numbers over that are close or just ones that are under? I'll let Grom decide because we have Lorenzo at 435 and I saw like a 432 in there. There are two 432s, 435 is over. Yeah, I'm gonna let Grom make the call because it's his package to give away. So, and I didn't state that on the over at the very beginning. <laughs> I know Mikey that's the that's the crazy part so if you see a if you see a live stream going tomorrow you never know what kind of craziness will happen all right there you go Grom called it right there so congratulations Lorenzo Lorenzo go ahead and send me an email and I'll get your information over to Grom want to give a huge shout out to all my members of Zach's daily carry crew even bigger shout out to my guy, Big Red, and to Grom for allowing me to guest host and be a part of this again for Saturday Night Live. It was great. It was fun. I had fun. I hope you guys did as well. Um, don't forget, if you could, check out my guy, Blade Banner. He has OrionKnives.com. He's got a Kickstarter going for his new knife, the Solaris. I did a review on it. Several other people have as well. If you like that knife, please support them. You know, if you have the ability to, definitely support them and pick one of those up. Uh, you won't be charged until it funds, which I think is in September. So um, that's one of the things he said. He didn't want to charge people up front. He wanted people to give them the opportunity to go ahead and wait till the end of the 45 days, which puts it in like the first week or so of September. So anyways, that's my pitch for that because it's a sweet knife. And I want to see it be successful. Um, he's a good friend of mine and he runs, you know, 
runs a lot of stuff for us. So, DG, thank you so much. Rick, thank you very much. Grom, thanks again. It was a fun night. You know, everybody wish JB a happy, happy rest of his trip. Safe travels, my friend. Thank you guys for an awesome night. Look forward to some more reviews coming up. Thanks, CK. Jonathan, thank you so much. Triple E EDC. Uh, at the very bottom, there's a join button. And if you don't see it next to the subscribe button, it says join. Uh, you can always go to the, the description of this video, and I have a link in there to join the Zach's Daily Carry Crew. So, B for Baron, thank you very much. OSK, thank you so much for hanging out. Mikey, B for Stud Fishing, Mark, Hollywood Tactical, getting Spanish on. OCD for EDC, don't forget to check out his live tomorrow. And our buddy Slicey Dicey, they're doing their lives tomorrow night. Different time zones. Norvin, thank you so much. Jason Brown, right on. Adam, take care. Get some rest, you guys. Have an awesome weekend. Keep doing something kind for someone. Most importantly, oh, 222 there? That's wild. Most importantly, you guys, take care, have fun, and we'll see you next week. Chad, Big Boar, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for all your support. Rodney, thank you so much. Have a good night. Rocking it. You guys were awesome tonight. It was fun. Big Red, you're the man, dude. Enjoy your trip. I look forward to some big fishing photos and videos. Thanks for letting me guest host your awesome show. Right on, Hollywood. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. All right, you guys. Knife Dude rocked it. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. Do something kind for someone. I'll see you on the next one.